Welcome to the third instalment in my series on how to play walking bass lines. In the first two lessons, we played our very first walking bass lines using the triads of each chord. We added the seventh and experimented with voice leading concepts to create a smooth sounding walking bass line. In this lesson, we're going to make our bass line sound a bit more jazzy by incorporating in some scale tones and chromatic tones. For the first exercise, we're going to expand upon our bass line by incorporating in some scale tones for more harmonic variation. Another way to look at scale tones are as notes other than chord tones. All of these notes come right out of the key of C major. Let's take a look at our first example. In this example, the chord tones on the D minor 7 chord are D, F and A, or the root, the flat third and the fifth. And the scale tone is the E note on beat 2. For the G7 chord, the chord tones are the G, F and D, or the root, the flat seventh and the fifth. And the scale tone is once again the E note on beat 2. For the C major 7 chord, the chord tones are the C and the E, or the root and the third, and the scale tones are the D and F notes on beats 2 and 4. Notice how the scale tones always land on the second and fourth beats in each bar. The first and third beats of the bar are often referred to as strong beats, and the second and fourth beats as weak beats. Without going into this concept in too much detail, Generally speaking, it is best to place chord tones on the strong beats of each bar and scale tones and chromatic tones on the weak beats. Next, we're going to use some notes that are not strictly in the key of C major. These notes will be chromatic or passing tones. To a lot of people, these notes are what really make a walking bass line sound jazzy. To save time, we're not going to talk about why these notes work on each chord. We'll save that for a later video. That's all for now. Have fun and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.